art, language, literature, poetry, costume. The lifestyle of Avadh has been fettered, its decline mourned, but its legacy continues to be nurtured by those deeply passionate about it. Kutwara is the princely province of Avadh, but it has burst upon the world because of the passion of its erstwhile prince. To visit the home of royalty is always a privilege, but to be invited to the house of an artist is an eye-opener. Artist, revivalist, poet, filmmaker, Sufi scholar. If titles matter, Muzaffar Ali of Kotwara probably has more of them than any Maharaja I've met. My father was a was a very rational humanist. You know, he his his values were entirely humanistic values, and he stood for pure human values. You know. And that's what I think has been a kind of a charge in my life. And Kutwara became a kind of a point of reference. As I grew up, I could see the cultural fabric of uh, Awadh, Lucknow, and the whole region disintegrating, and people sort of migrating from cities to cities from these very, very vulnerable rural pockets, you know, which were actually very, very cultured and very refined. And uh, that gave me a lot of pain, you know, when he was passing away, and this is in the 90s, he said that no bhuka nanga na rahe. So that became a kind of a driving force for me. People of Kutwara had all acted in my film, so everybody in the village is an actor of some kind, you know. <laughs> and then the carpenters and the masons, they all made my sets. <laughs> and then the tailors, they, did, they made our costumes. So it was like a big, big studio, you know. It was At the Delhi home of Muzaffar Saab and his wife Meera Ali, art and design are everywhere. They're evident in the lines and earthy material of a home which was designed by Miraji. And in the warm aesthetic comfort of a home whose furniture has practically all been created by Muzaffar Saab. I haven't seen a home where all the beautiful <laughs> furniture has been made by, by the owner. It's fantastic. So this table really stands out for me because it has a, it has a very majestic quality. Now it's just that a penny saved is a penny earned, you know. <laughs> I didn't buy it, I made it. <laughs> so I, I earned this table. <laughs> my father used to say that, you know, a penny saved is a penny earned. Sure. <laughs> See, craft is my passion. You know? What I've noticed is that your beautiful art, your collages are everywhere. Wrapped around the house are Muzaffar Ali's distinctive pastels, multimedia and evocative wild brush strokes. The grand centre of it all coming together in the dramatic fireplace. But it's got a lot of different mixed media in this, you know. First I started sketching on paper, then I started doing some woodwork, then we did some painting, then it the, the started doing some calligraphy. So it's just, uh, it's a, tried to make a method out of my madness, you know. And, and then it has some, you know, little, little objects that I find and I don't know what to do with, like I bought a switch, I <laughs> like the switch I put it here, then I had an old watch I put it there. This is a, from my car, you know, some kind no. of a bearing. You don't throw away anything? No. It's a lot of uh, old junk pieces of things, you know. I've been going to Chor Bazaar and I pick up the most, uh, the cheapest stuff that you get, you know. And I try to use it in some strange way, you know. This is a lamp. But nothing works. <laughs> and and then you put your t your uh, your brush. paintbrush in um, there. So when you retire, a brush it goes up. Yeah. I love that. These are my father's old riding boots, which oh. I value a lot. <laughs> You've grown up seeing them. Yeah. And uh, you've seen them in the house, seen them sort of uh, you know sitting somewhere. 
and now they're still here with you. I think this is just a beautiful idea. It to, is to keep these shoes here and out. It's keep your own blessings, you know. Of course. It's really the 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 spirit of this place, you know. Then these are all paintings inspired by Rumi and my script on Rumi. Oh. This you'll never forget. I don't think anybody in India would have this. This is a calligraphy of. Yeah, it's an original facsimile, you know, hundred copies that were made. It's so nice to have it at hand and to have it open. I think it's got aura, it's got blessings. It's interesting. You talk to your books. You talk to nature. You um, have a language with which you speak to a space. These are all terms I have not really heard before. I'm designing for my own spirit, and I'm designing to share it with people. You know? It's time to meet my hostess, Mira Ali, the architect of this home, is also the person behind Kutwara Studios, an effort and now a designer label, which sustains the craft of Kutwara.